Hello, I'm doing a new let's play of Pandora First Contact Eclipse of Nashira with a release, uh, not release version, with a development version that is close to what shall be released uh, hopefully soon as a official patch, not just a beta patch but an official patch. Um, I'm playing on a huge world with a full roster of 13 AIs with the mod of course because otherwise you wouldn't have enough uh, playable factions. A uh, word shape is random, temperature is random, alien aggression is very high, pace is standard, uh, revealed tech tiers is random this time. Uh, so it will be playing out a little different. Turn time on on and I disabled the research victory. Uh, so it can probably go a little longer but probably not either. So it depends on what happens. Uh, I have to play really safe uh, in order to get further because usually uh, if I play with random there usually is uh, at least one of the other factions is uh, very hard and destroys me. Okay, let's see. Where should I colonize? Let's first uh, scout in this direction. Ah, good thing I scouted. Over here we have a gold mine, so it would be out of reach if I colonized here. If I colonize here, it would be in reach. So, this is what I'm going to do. And I don't this even lose a turn. I'm doing the usual thing. <laughs> Two turns. Okay, so I did everything right. And where is. Oh, this time. Okay, the, the random tech tree made it a little harder, and I see less. I only see one more tier here, so I'm going with public gene therapy. In order to get colony dismantling, I want this really soon. But maybe ah no, I don't need synthetic fertilizer because I have the Gaia for Gaia forest here, and I can enter turn because I've done everything I wanted to do. Okay, let's scout here. Okay, there's a alien hive. And I hope that not the same thing happens as happened last time when I was trying to record a let's play because uh, I had a crash which I think was related to the recording program running at the same time as the game. So the game crashed on me and it usually doesn't crash. Uh, it was also the exception said something about a video error or something. So I figure that it ha might have to do with me recording the video and maybe because it was getting too long, I don't know. I will not use a timer, I will stop when I feel like it, which might happen sooner or later. Okay, we all found the first other faction and I'm not sure if I want contact yet. I'm not so uh, needy for contact as the ambassadors because I will be getting trade income from other trades. Of course it was heavily heavily nerfed after I fixed it and made it work in the first place. It was really overpowered. Now I feel it is in line. It gives you maybe a 30% boost to your income or so. Okay, the city is size 3 now. Uh, do I even have... no, I don't even have a... I need a former. In this case I need a mine so I can get at least one good mineral tile. Um, ah, that's terrible. But I soon will have the colon ship dismantling and then I can probably buy it or produce it quickly. I will not scout the this faction. Yeah, I said that. I will avoid scouting them actually. They have to scout me.
I should probably not scout in such a straight line. I want to know my surroundings and not uh, what lies ahead in the straight line. Okay, colon ship dismantling was built. Uh, not built, researched. I will build it now. And I think it might already be a good idea to get the defensive technologies. Unfortunately, they are behind something that I do not need. Mm. Yeah, this is. I really don't like this tech at all. I consider it pretty useless. But. I get it anyways. So I'm taking a turn now and make my way back down over here so I hopefully return before the aliens become aggressive. Maybe I can purchase it? No. In next turn I will be able to. And I probably shall do it. Yeah, 48 credits. I can afford that. Building next, yeah, former. And now for this, and then the other tech. And when this guy returns home, I can probably upgrade him. Yeah, now I can put more workers. Uh, still uh, no pollution. This is because I have this, this and this. It's helping me. And I see that uh, the borders are first trying to expand towards this goal. Which I'm not sure I agree with. Um, yeah, forest is obviously better than this. Um, I might change it later. Right now gold would be okay because I have a quite a high tax rate. But this is going to change. Uh, damn it, the alien stepped on this uh, tile that I wanted to step on. So I have to go through the fungus now or waste a turn and I think going through the fungus is probably the better idea. Can I put even more workers? Yes I can. Still no pollution. That's great. Minus three from territories. Ah, there's a ruin. This is good. Okay, the little guy is ready, so I'll start building a mine and I will get this. And now I do want the gene therapy clinic and after that I will probably build some units. Uh, I will start building the units once I have both the technologies. Ah good, I found a drone. Uh, I'll return home with the colonial trooper but the drone will continue scouting. and hopefully not die to aliens. Steel armor. And what now? I should probably get this one to do something against the low minerals. Uh, yeah, it's always the same. When when I start the game, I uh, think, yeah, I need to get more military early on. And then when I see all the juicy buildings that improve my economy so much, I'm like, ah, screw it. I need those first before I need get the military. But I cannot really do this. I I plan to really not build anything, any other building after this and get two or maybe three units. This is really mostly for when the AI decides to I'm too weak. If they see my low military, for example if they scout me and find that I'm super weak. 
this will not go well how much to purchase okay 200 something that's way too expensive and they found me and I hope they do not declare war before I can come home she wants to denounce me I do not want to be denounced uh, massive troop and flourishing economy an outstanding and highly this looks a lot like uh, I'm I'm changing this and I'm also doing this I'm I'm a little bit paranoid uh, this is really inefficient but I'll do it anyways and I hope that I can return my unit back to my city and they do not get ideas maybe I should get this one to my city as well I really don't feel comfortable about that okay they offer open borders which I reject to agree to let me get another mine and let me get into the city where now I feel much safer and I can upgrade this guy okay so okay I'll just keep scouting I feel safe now and yeah I'll still finish this unit first before building another uh, I mean this unit before building another building yeah I want those two as well I really have to wait it I think I will make unit building unit building this way I should be fine I hope and the non-aggression pack this gives me some breathing room and I met two other factions Schreiber and uh, this is the Santiago, Colonel Santiago, and they both are scouting with their starting unit. Uh, I'll offer a non-aggression pact and trading and research pact and uh, no other pact and I'll do the same here and the non-aggression pact is rejected which is not good. Trading pact they demanded payment which I do not want to pay and here the same Ah, uh, okay, goodbye. I do not like that. But they haven't found me yet, which is good. And I also will not uh, share maps with them. Do they know the... Uh, they know the hive and they know Terra Salvum, the hive and me. But they do not know the cult of planet yet, which is good. Because the cult of planet knows my location and if they share maps, the others will know my location as well. And you really don't want others to know your location. Tribute. Uh, let me consider it as long as it is still cheap. It will become uh, more and more costly as the game progresses. It no longer scales with how much you have in your treasury but uh, with your population actually. Um, Mineral refining or rigorous regiment first. I think I will start out with rigorous regiment so the units are stronger. Okay, after this unit, I'll be getting another building. Yeah, it is still cute. Uh, Swenskirt and Dawn, Lal and Dawn, Schreiber and Young, and they offer open borders. Okay, if, if you insist. Well, let's check out the others. They are strong and flourishing, massive and superior, strong <coughs> and flourishing. Okay, so I'm not sure if they are, uh, but they are outstanding, highly advanced research. Uh, okay. Now I have two mines and I will also use two mines. I think with this setup I shall be producing quickly enough. 
Um, how about the pollution? 1.6. That breakdown is not helping me too much. I think I'll still plant a forest over here instead of getting another mine. <coughs> I might change my mind later, but not right now. And there's the border of Togra. If I know their border, it is okay, but if they know mine, it is not okay. Maybe this world is another planet's hell. The thing is, I don't know. Uh, what difficulty they are on? And aggression is imminent, uh, so I hope they will kill the aliens. And a trading pact. Yeah, with so many factions, the aliens are not really that important because everyone will be fighting them and I don't have to do that much. Out of non aggression, trading, and research pact. Very well, he accepted all of it. Massive, superior, moderate. Yeah, after the building, I will be needing to get more units. And I'm out of food now. I almost I always forget that I will at some point need food. At the research pack. Didn't I have one with them in the first place? Nope. Let me try and get a trading pack as well. They demand a payment. I don't want to pay you. Thing is, I don't know how long they will maintain such a pact. And I have to take care about the food issue. Uh, yeah, food will be more of an issue. This land is not really food friendly at all. This is the only tile that gives me food and I just realized I haven't built a farm on it yet, so that's what I'm going to do after this forest is planted. Which I don't really need right now yet, but eventually I will. Okay, there's some more packs. Schreiber is getting a lot of contacts, so I guess it, it is safe to assume that we are on a Pangaea. Uh, but they do not have contact with the cult of planet, but some other factions have. So everyone who has contact with the cult of planet is more dangerous because the cult of planet could share maps to them sh that shows my location. And going over here and building a farm. Okay. Hawking is size 7 and I'm size 6, so I suppose he must be at least... Well, I'm not sure, it could be medium, but I think it is hard. So Schreiber is on hard difficulty. Okay, what do you want? Uh, okay, I'll offer a non-aggression pack and... Trading pack and research pack and everything is accepted. It's uh, more usual with the not so aggressive. Okay, unrivaled economy, strong standing army, superior. I think unrivaled is better than superior, but it's strange how it says unrivaled for several guys. Uh, they must be rivaled after all, otherwise, it couldn't be that case. Uh, I just mistakenly clicked the icon be behind this one. Good thing I noticed. Uh, do I still... I actually might uh, take a break and get this for population in between. 
after well I can grow to size 7 easily uh, because I will have a farm here I might have to hold for a few turns I'm, I'm totally at the limits here micromanagement wise I'll offer open borders okay. and yeah I'll be getting a unit as I said the unit building unit building might be a good idea okay my food just ran out and I'm being denounced I think the cult of planet is rather aggressive Un unfortunately you cannot see this in game I would have to go into the, the files and check for that I mean you can may or maybe I can somewhere see it uh, I know there was a possibility to uh, to get the description of the factions but where was it data links mm. fingers no no not features factions cult of planet uh, it, it's just their description it doesn't say how aggressive how aggressive they are it's it would be important to know so I could adjust my strategy to this. Uh, now I need to put another farmer. Oh yeah, I, I just realized now that my city uh, tile gives me two food as well. Since it gives only one mineral. It, it is either way. It's either... Okay. I see that their border must have expanded at least two times there and there so I'm pretty sure they are on very hard those are mm, I don't know one time so I suppose hard and I haven't really found the others I mean I have a lot of contacts there's the blue territory I'll, I'd like to scout them as well and yeah getting this tech why don't I have it yet? I thought I wanted to research it much sooner. Yeah, but I can upgrade the units anyways. I have enough credits. I'm getting two uh, credits from my faction bonus so far. But this will increase over time of course. And I just realized that there is a... <laughs> there is a ruin right next to my city. Oh wow. I could theoretically have gotten two observatories into my radius uh, it's it's really annoying when you realize this later two observatories would be awesome uh, because they stack but this is also quite good but not as good as two observatories uh, two times the same bonus it's it's much more awesome uh, except if it is the uh, industry bonus in this case it is just a little bit awesome at least not for the capital it's good for uh, another later city non-aggression trading research enough let's check them strong flourishing ain't there anyone who's not strong uh, why don't I have pacts with the Imperium? Have I tried to get them? Okay, at least I got a non-aggression pack. I might, I probably have tried to get pacts and they didn't want it. Okay, now I can remove this guy until the city actually grows and I have built another unit so which of the buildings do I want now? I don't want to spend any of the credits because I want to, to use them on upgrading I think I'll get the training facility next uh, might be not the smartest move uh, yeah, I'll do it anyways.
I'm not sure. I want to play it safe and get enough units so no one gets any ideas and declares war too early when I'm not prepared. I want to be the one who declares wars. And now, what shall I be getting now? Uh, I could start getting roads in the forests. And there's another unit that is going to scout me. So he's the second one who actually sees my borders. And there's so much kifs out here. Uh, they are not called kifs. There's uh, maybe factions or. And now they all scout me. And I've been attacked by a guide. And this guy wants tribute. 70 credits, okay. Yeah, now enough others know where I am, so I have to be more cautious. And you get back to the city. Oh, they also have expanded their borders. What is this noise? Someone I don't I don't even know what this noise could be. This must be some program. Okay, I don't care. Maybe Battle.net? Um no, you are polite. You won't. You won't do anything crazy, any, anyways. And I can now upgrade to Hellfire. Um, I'll check briefly. And I'll end this part here. I'll have to play uh, Heroes of the Storm now, and I'll continue playing this sometimes later. See ya then.